but welcome back to another episode of Haas. Today on the Survival Today, we return boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, hopefully, you guys are having to see a fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety. That only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. I'm doing pretty good because we are over here in the core of where our loot is because we have a floppy disk that is going to get us some loot that is going to add to this core. We have a very nice base raid lined up for today as well. That's obviously going to help. And we actually got to use the floppy disk to grab some C4. But as you guys can see, I was actually going through my inventory and I came across a card that, well, we often come across. Maybe not often, but occasionally come across during raids. The card is Z. Common access card to top secret military bunker Zulu. Now, it's pretty rare outside of raids. The main way you get this is actually by killing the big one. But raids have made it a little bit more common. And, you know, be, I, I love hoarding these because it's so rare. But, you know, when's it actually going to come into play? And this is where uh, we came across something very interesting. Boom. I don't know if you all recall, but this is something that was posted a little while back. By Kafir with the caption, we continue sharing sketches of the future location. It promises to be lively despite the darksome view. Key word on that word, darksome view. Why, Star? Well, well, well. There's some very interesting things to take away from this and some of the hints that Kafir has dropped regarding it. So by the looks of it, is Sector Z is labeled on top of this. Well, okay, what's that got to do with Bunker Zulu? Actually, a surprising amount because Zulu is the military call sign, like the military letter. I'm not sure the correct term for that call sign might be totally something separate, but it's kind of like part of the military alphabet, so to speak, like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Omega, Zulu, letters like that. Zulu is the word for Z. And as we are seeing here, we are seeing Sector Z, what appears to be a wall that is heavily overrun by infestation. And again, as Kafir did say, despite the darksome view. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The only place we've ever seen a wall in this game is over here. But this is Sector 7. What's that got to do with Sector Z? But then think about it. Past Sector 7, inside of Sector 7 is a place known as the Dark Zone. Going into here, that's the Dark Zone, baby. And if there's a darksome view at this wall that we're seeing... It's overrun with infestation from what we've seen of the multiplayer. This is where the infection is strongest. The most infected entities are. The infection needed a wall to be contained. The level of infection past this and radiation is insane. And especially once you start inching towards the crater, which has been hinted towards by the mercenaries and whatnot as being a very spooky place. And there's some conspiracy theories going on that this is actually the source of the infection. Some sort of potential meteorite hit this crater. And that meteorite contained the virus that started all of this. Well, what if there's more walls past Sector 7? What if those walls are closer to this area? What if those walls are potentially overrun because of how powerful the infection is by the crater? Kind of like Sector Z here. What if Sector Z is the final barrier between us and whatever lies inside of this crater and it's been overrun by infection that would make sense because you know being overrun by an infection you got to be deep inside man and if that wall were to be right around here that would make perfect sense especially once we take into account that hints that they dropped and i didn't fully make this connection because back when this was dropped dark zones didn't necessarily even exist it was almost foreshadowing towards the fact that dark zones were going to exist past sector seven the dark some of you Man, if that's not a hint at this being some sort of a wall all the way past here, I don't know what is. And given the fact that you got to get it off arguably the most powerful and infected enemy out there, the big one, maybe he was like some sort of a general that mutated that actually had access to this. This is the only other instance of the letter Z that we have within the game. And something this top secret, something this deep into the infection that was trying to contain the crater, potentially before it was overrun this was a functioning checkpoint but because of how the virus has progressed this thing has now become overrun and almost obsolete dude it would make sense for there to need to be an access card to access potentially the freaking crater that the military may have been studying before you know everything kind of went south so with all of that it genuinely appears that this card has some sort of a connection to this sector z card not card wall 
don't know how I got those two mixed up. That resides deep within Sector 7, deep within the Dark Zone. Another wall that's been overrun. Hopefully that doesn't happen to this wall. Hopefully the infection doesn't spread. But if you think about it, it's kind of already happening, man. We already have zombies over here to a smaller scale, but there are zombies past this wall. Not past, I should say on this side of the wall, but nonetheless, very interesting connections to be had here with Bunker Zulu, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts around this. Do you believe that, you know, Bunker Zulu is going to be a, you know, a bunker like we're used to over here with Bunker Alpha, or is it going to be more of kind of like this wall type of scenario? Because especially, like, look at the special markings on Bunker Zulu, man. It's so red and so rare. All the other ones are so much more bland, but Zulu, dude, the lettering's red, everything's red. It's almost like it's the most top secret. It's the last letter in the alphabet. And if you think about it, maybe they named this wall after the fact that they were studying zombies and some sort of zombie infection on the inside of that crater. After all, Z, zombie? That matches up a little bit, man, in the military. They tend to kind of, you know, line up call signs and names and whatnot with, you know, a little bit with the operation that might be at hand. So potentially some sort of Operation Zulu was happening. This wall was meant to contain it. The super top secret access card was meant to be one of the only ways to get access to this top secret military area. And, well, good thing we've stockpiled them because when the time does come to open that up, we're looking nice and prepared. For what is to come but go and let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below i'd love to hear your guys thoughts around this sector z wall its potential connections to this uh bunker z zulu card what do you guys think do you guys think that there might maybe be inside of this sector z wall some sort of a bunker zulu maybe there's a little bit of a double whammy where there's bunker z and sector z because of just how t t secret just how top secret this area is you know what you guys think about the card this sketch this concept art of dude especially that little connection Connection, man i did like back when this concept art was dropped the whole kind of hint at a darksome view man if that's not hinting towards the dark zone i don't know what is because that is the single most dark place in the entire game it's literally called the dark zone from its level of darkness so definitely some interesting takeaways let me know what you guys think about them in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly drive done at two touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, that will enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on Earth videos that y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that you should definitely give a look if you have not already. If y'all like last day on Earth, there's a good chance you're gonna like some of the other games going up on the channel if you don't like any of the series currently going on there's some very cool mobile survival games and survival games in general coming out in the future that we're going to be starting some series on that i think you will love keep your eyes and ears peeled there is dopeness to come and let's not forget that the notification bell is a great way of staying up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as any type of new info does come out we're gonna be diving into it absolutely head first breaking it down to its fullest extent making all the connections that we can with information already out there to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth what to expect within future updates when to expect future updates and of course the future updates themselves because as soon as they do come out we're gonna be diving head first into them and showcasing off every single little thing that they have to offer does not matter if it's a new location new enemy new boss new anything if it's new we're showing it off we're having a fan freaking fantastic time and we're going to be showing it off to the max as well does not matter how hard it is does not matter how much of our loot we got to blow through none of that matters to me it, all that matters is that if there's something new we're going to show it off we're going to show it off a lot and we're going to show it off in every single way imaginable all while having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout and hello let's say you mr super airdrop are you about to make me a happy camper with your insides? Survey says, wait one moment. Processing, processing, processing. Yes, you are. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. We got a grenade launcher, the cream of the crop, the best single weapon that a floppy disk can have. That is what you hope for when you open it, and that is what we got for today. Not to mention all these other pretty decent things going on as well. A little bit of a gas mask, a little bit of, what is this, a red dot sight? Okay, common mod. That's the thing about floppy disk. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts around this. Dude, how are you going to give me a common mod inside of a floppy disk? Que fair. Come on. How about let's at least give a blue. At least, honestly, I personally think floppy disk should have maybe a guaranteed active skill mod. Because 
Floppiness are not easy to get, my guy. You need to collect a lot of hard mode items to even think about getting this. You've got to kill the blind one quite a few times to make this be... Sorry about the burp there. Come a reality. Dear mama, I double dipped on that burp. I double burped on it. And I don't know, man. I genuinely think that they should rebuff it and refix it because it feels like it's the same loot ever since the floppiness came out. But since then, the economy and the general kind of loot you get from new areas has changed. And I feel like they should kind of, you know, adjust for that fact that things are a change and things are a little bit different. And definitely with what is at stake, with what is at play, with this wonderful, wonderful place known as the floppy disk and all that that does have to offer. Genuinely speaking, man, I feel like we should be getting a little bit more than that. Like, they, like it's especially extremely rare mods, in case you guys do not know, the purple mods, your main way of getting them as the police station, man. And not just any police station, you need to turn in a purple card at the police station. Let me just say, Purple cards are 10 blue cards, which is 100 green cards, which is a thousand gray cards. Okay, the mathematics are starting to add up. That is expensive, and even then, you're not even guaranteed an active skill mod. So maybe they rebalance that to give active skill mods and give the floppy disk just some sort of an extremely rare mod guaranteed because, dude, I genuinely think it deserves something like that. But let me know what you guys think regarding that, and uh, hopefully, yo, I'll be crossing my fingers for all you guys and gals out there that yo luck is this good with getting a... Granata launcher because that is pretty much the most powerful weapon in the game. You don't need to worry about blowing yourself up. Lucky for us, we got this nifty little perk where we're less effective at blowing ourselves up. Where you at, Mr. Perk? Impregnable. The damage you get from explosions is reduced by 20%, aka the YOLO Star Snipe perk. Maxed out. We're good to go, baby. But let's make sure that we toss those into there. Let's not bring... No, no, no. Hold up. Why did I put my grenade launcher in there? I don't know. My brain goes on autopilot sometimes. Autopilot Papa Star Brain, especially with the goldfish memory. That's a scary thought. So that's why That's why we don't even have the auto mode over there. Anything auto and me together, it's a recipe for disaster. But I'm going to go ahead, put this stuff away, and start concocting a recipe for disaster at today's raid. So talk to y'all. It's like, and without further ado, we are looking as prepared as needed for today's shenanigans. God dang it. Never mind. My bootay went on the chopper a little bit early. There we go. As you guys can see, we need a lot of hatchets for this raid because we have a little bit of a complex one coming our way. We are raiding a honeycomb base. A raider's worst nightmare, but someone trying to protect their bases best friend. A honeycomb. Sorry, what do you mean when you say honeycomb? Well, let me just finish the billion hatchets we're gonna need. That might give you a hint as to what a honeycomb base is. But uh, long story short, a honeycomb base is kind of like this over here, where you just do all these one-by-ones of level one walls. This is such a cheap and effective way of having protection, by the way, because each of these walls takes one wood to make. If that's not cheap, I don't know what is chief, so that's going to be a really good way of balling on a budget and definitely something that you guys and gals should look into if you have not already started capitalizing upon. And with that, we need a lot of hatchets to properly break into the shenanigans that they're going to be tossing our way. We also have this kind of backup pistol drizzle over there. That pistol drizzle over there. Hopefully that's enough durability. And with the wooden stone put away, hopefully this raid treats us nicely because we got enough explosives for it. But the question is... Does it have enough loot for my greedy mind? That's an answer we're about to find out. <laughs> it's been a minute since we've raided like an actual honeycomb base, but yeah, if you guys are not doing a honeycomb for your bases, for the love of everything, please start. It is genuinely like, would you rather a raider break through your stone wall or wood wall that you need to repair? Or, or whatchamacallit, level two wooden wall, like wooden plank wall? Or would you rather them just kind of break through a little thing, a little thing known as a wooden wall? That takes one wood, one wood log, not wood plank, one wood log to craft. And I'm just saying, I think I speak for both of us when I say, go with the level one walls. It does make your base not as pretty as could be, but if you're raiding, I don't think prettiness should be the first thing that you worry about. An offering to the raider gods, a free chest. Why, thank you, Mr. Base. Water, how'd you know I was such a thirsty lad? For this offering, I will bless you with vitamin P inside of your shower. Let your showers be blessed and filled with much cleanliness. Me, the god of uncleanliness, blesses you. Or maybe if I, maybe if I curse him, that'll be a double negative since I'm the god of smelliness. And a curse from me? No, that'd probably just make him smelly. I bless him with not being smelly. I have this power. 
I am the master of smelliness, okay? Oh, we gotta go and grab one of them C4 from the chop and commence with this 3x3 stone structure. But inside of this 3x3, that's where the honeycomb begins. God dang it, doggo. One day you will learn how not to fuse with my chopper. Today is not that day. Lexi, I love you, but you are a brick of a pup sometimes. You know that? An absolute unit. I mean, to be fair, she is. She's never died to a zombie. It's more than I could say. I've died to quite a few in my day. And as a wise man... Actually, I'm not going to break into that. I'm going to be a little bit cautious. I'm going to break into... I think this one might be a decent one. Let's toss down the C4, as a wise man once said. Bada bing. Lexi, get out of there. Bada boom. 30 noise on the clock. I don't think you put noise on the clock, but you know what I'm going for. Let's try and gather around the troops. Come on. Gather around, children. I have a story to tell. It's very fun and filled with shotgun rain. It goes like this. Shotgun rain. Some stay dry and a fast biter somehow doesn't feel the pain. Bro, how did you not? Two of you survived. What's going on? Is the power of shotgun rain diminishing? This makes me unhappy. Are you kidding me right now? This can't be real. Please tell me it's not real. Doggo, you gotta help me out a little bit more than I anticipated here. I did not anticipate my shotgun whiffing on so many enemies. Maybe it was just a bad placement compared to our blast or whatever, but here's what I'm talking about, right? This base is honeycombed. There's gonna be some decent loot inside of this honeycomb, but at the end of the day, it is honeycomb. The good news is, it doesn't make a lot of noise to break a honeycomb. Level one walls only take two noise as a raider. The bad news, each level one wall takes one level one hatchet. You are going to blow through a pretty decent amount of hatchets if you want to get through all of these. Now, from the research that I have done, those two boxes in the middle are not boxes you want to break into. You just want to break into these kind of and make like a little C letter. You know, a little like sideways U on a 45 degree angle. Because I believe there's actually like a radio smack a dab in the middle. How's there not a raider attacking me yet? Not a raider. A zombie. We've made quite a little bit of noise. There they are. I just had to I just had to ask for them. That's what I had to do. Gather round, children. I'm going to tell my follow-up tale of Shotgun Rain. It's called Shotgun Rain Part 2. Shotgun Rain Harder! There you go. That was able to take down more of you. Except for that one fast bite over there. For some reason, he was an expert survivor. And oh, baby. This pistol got one bullet left in it. And we probably have more zombie waves we got to worry about. So, uh, might be time for them to get a paddle in with this naily paddle. Dear God, the thought of that. <laughs> I shiver. I shudder at it. Yeah, with the amount of chests we want to break into, we do. Oh, me like. Me like quite a bit. But, uh, which McCall? I believe there's a radio smack dab in the middle. This is. No, I don't think there's a. Unless maybe. Hold up. There might be a radio here, actually. I'm not sure. I hear a radio, though. And I think it might be in one of those two. Whatever it is, though, the main chests you want to break into are on these outskirts, kind of like this. So that's the game plan we're going to continue with. And uh, we do have the sledgehammer. We could try to go hammer time on some of these upcoming zombies. We should be able to break through one more chest, though. Ooh, more hatchets. Those are some nicer hatchets. We could actually save those, depending on how good the loot is here. Got a little bit of gas. Always happy to grab that. Let's continue grabbing There's some of these chests over here. No way, me, no way, me, no way, me, no way, me, no Oh, Hello. I like what you have in store for me. Let's go and grab a little bit of that roasted turkey. Uh, yeah, I'll pick that up for now. I'll leave my options open. Ooh. We have extra noise. We could even uh, do some crafting as well. Now then. I think these zombies are going to start running up on us here. So, uh, yep, hope you're ready to tussle. It's tussling time. I really hope my armor can withstand this because, uh, come on, doggo. It's me and you versus this toxic abomination. Marvelous. Toxic abomination down. We're just trying to uh, thin out this horde of fast biters one hit at a time. Yeet. Two sledgehammer hits. So should be able to get the job done on these dinguses. And there's just, they just think one fast biter amidst the rest of them. And there's still, like, what, one or two chests for us to break into? That last chest we broke into. I saw that electronic circuit, which used to be... Oh, no, I'm naked! Good loot in my eyes. Woo! He does 10 damage a pop. That is concerning. We should be able to weather this storm, but it's not a storm that I'm a fan of. All right. Oh, my God. You can see my hair. When does this ever happen, man? 
I feel like I have a helmet on 99.9% .9 of the time. Look at me and all of my naked glory. Aren't I glorious, lads? I know, I know. Hold the applause. <laughs> nah, I ain't that glorious, but uh, my smell. Let's not hold the applause on the smell. I need all the clapping emojis in that comment section for my iconic stank. <laughs> all right. What do we have up in here? A little bit of that. Yes, sir. Oh, stack of that. Let's go. Okay. Pretty decent resources. I will eat all of your carrots, by the way. Please. And thank you. Um. Oh, and we have this over here. The last chest. We got that thing to break into. Can I find some clothes? Ooh, I'll take some of that. Take some of that. Probably start tossing out some of the poopy, uh... Poopy hatchets. We'll break through this, and this will probably be the last thing that we break into. Not in there, unfortunately. I suppose we gotta roll with those punches, but... There you guys have it. Now we just gotta start picking what we want out of this mumbo jumbo of a base. Wheels could get scrapped into something decent. I always like cameras. Usually I wouldn't take a single camera, but the loot is a little bit scarce amidst some of the other things here. I'm not taking any single tickets, any single nuts, nothing like that. Nothing here catches my eye. I'm happy to eat your stew though. Please and thank you. And I think I'm pretty good there, so. With that said and with that done, that might just about do it for this raid that we have performed. Our signature raid upon. As much as I'd love to have some clothes to toss on, it does not appear that clothes were included in this package. Ooh. You know what we could do actually too? Why don't we make sure to put all that away? Yeah, I was about to say, we still have freaking chopper room. What was I thinking? We're gonna have plenty of room to mess around with, especially once we take into account... Oh, let's make sure that we put this away. Raiders ask for a lot if they know you got one of these circuits. I'll put the wood there instead. What we can also do... I might just get rid of this pistol, dude. That thing literally has a single bullet left. That's not much. We'll put the melee weapon there in its place. That leaves us a whole ton of slots, and... I mean, if needed, we could do something about that. Alrighty, though. Let's see what else we want to fill up our inventory with out of this marvelous raid. We have called our own. And it's in here? No. And it's in here? Ooh. Maybe. Eh, I'll take that. Honestly, might just take all the cloth. Craft up some band-aids when we get out of here, because I did see some cloth. But I'm not really sure if I'm trying to risk it for no cloth biscuit at the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll grab you a food, too. Honestly, thank you for the hospitality. If there ain't nothing better, I, I will take it. Straight to the bank, baby. Straight to the bank. Yeah. Wish there were some clothes I could steal, man. For once, I'm naked and there's no clothes to steal. This never happens. I think I'm pretty good with what we got. Oh, and we could grab that. That's what I was looking for. A little bit more of that. Glock. I'll probably just recycle you. Try to get some recycler EXP. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and bring an end to this episode of Last Day Honor Survival at the conclusion of this raid. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.